A Volatile Lemonarch is the only bow you'll ever need. What's up everyone, Tavius here, and today I want to talk to you guys about an excellent ad clearing Void Hunter build. If you're new to the game or newer to Hunter, once you try this build, you won't want to switch to anything else. First, we'll go over the subclass, its aspects and fragments, in detail for any new lights out there. Then we'll go over armor and armor mods, and we'll finish with our weapons, and a quick recap at the end. If you enjoy this type of content, a like and heavy attack on the subscribe button really helps the channel grow. And without further delay, let's jump into it. So with this build, we're going to build around the Lemon Arc Exotic Bow, with or without Catalyst. Catalyst heals you, which is great, but it doesn't change anything else about the weapon. So for our super, we're going with Shadow Shot Deadfall to tether, weaken, and suppress enemies. Also, this super has the fastest base cooldown from all three, at 7 minutes 35 seconds at zero intellect and if you do nothing. We're using Marksman Dodge with a base cooldown of 29 seconds which reloads our weapon, our Smoke Bomb which weakens targets with a base cooldown of 1 minute 30 seconds, and our Suppressor Grenade with a cooldown of 2 minutes. So we have Weakening with our Smoke Bomb and Suppression with our Grenade. Now for our aspects, we're going with Vanishing Step which allows us to go invisible when we dodge and gives us 2 slots for our fragments. And our second aspect is Stylus Executioner. With this aspect, defeating any weakened, suppressed, or volatile target grants you invisibility and true sight, comes in really handy when using our smoke bomb and our grenade and getting a kill to go invisible. I have to mention that the invisibility from a simple dodge lasts 5 seconds and the invisibility from Stylist Executioner lasts 8 seconds, but with the first fragment we're going to equip, we're going to extend our invisibility. The Echo of Persistence Void buffs applied to you, Invisibility, Overshield, and Devour have increased duration. This fragment extends our basic dodge invisibility from 5 seconds to 7 seconds, and our Stylist Executioner invisibility from 8 seconds to 12 seconds, which even though it doesn't specify how much the increase is with this fragment, it seems it's 50% at least for Invisibility and Devour, the ones I tested. The Echo of Provision, damaging targets with grenades grants melee energy. This one is great to get our smoke bomb back with our suppressor grenade damage. The next one is Echo of Instability, defeating targets with grenades grants volatile rounds to your void weapons. This one is one of the most important ones for this build. And last we have the Echo of Starvation, picking up an orb of power grants devour. Remember that both Devour and Invisibility will be extended with the Echo of Persistence, and you can keep extending Devour up to 15 seconds by getting kills and healing yourself. And that's it for the subclass breakdown, let's continue with armor and mods. On my helmet I have a rocket launcher ammo finder since I'll be using rockets, but anything for DPS will work, linear fusion, grenade launcher, sword, then I have harmonic siphon. Rapid void weapon final blows create an orb of power. This one with Lemon Arc is so easy to make also power. And then Font of Wisdom. Picking up Void Elemental Wells increase your intellect, recharging your super faster. So Void Elemental Wells will get us our super back. Moving on to my arms, I have a Bow Reloader, a Bow Anti-Barrier for Champions, then Seeking Wells. I feel like this one is a must for me in every build I make. Elemental Wells you create come to you. This one is especially great on this build because with Lemon Arc we're going to be pretty far from enemies, so we'll be pretty far from the wells you create with kills, but as soon as you get close enough, they will start tracking to your position. Moving on to the chest piece, I have a Thermoshock Plating to reduce incoming solar and arc damage from enemies. And Elemental Armaments. Void Weapon Final Blows have an escalating chance to spawn an Elemental Well. This is the mod that's gonna get us all our Void Elemental Wells with Lemon Arc. For my legs, I'm going with the Exotic Legs Orpheus Rigs, one of the most used Void Exotics. Uncanny Arrows refund super energy with each target tethered by Deadfall Anchors. Up to 50% of your super bar, which if you take into consideration all the Elemental Wells and Orphs of Powers we will be creating, it's huge. Also have Rocket Launcher Scavenger, Absolution to reduce all my ability cooldowns by picking up Orphs of Power. This buff lasts for 30 seconds. And then we have Volatile Flow from the Seasonal Artifact. Picking up Void Elemental Wells grants Volatile to your Void Weapons. This mod is absolutely necessary for this build. It will give you 16 seconds of Volatile to your Lemon Arc, making everything explode in Void. It's so cool. Even on bosses, it's super effective. Now for our class item, we have Suppressive Darkness from the Seasonal Artifact. 
Whenever you suppress a combatant, you also weaken them. So our grenades will also weaken targets, making them easier to kill with the Monarch. Then we have Overload Grenades for those Overload Champions and Font of Might. Where picking up Void Elemental Wells grants a temporary bonus to weapon damage of the same elemental type. So this one powers up Lemon Arc for 10 seconds. You can also power up a Void Heavy Weapon like Rockets, Linear Fusion or Sword. Before we go over weapons, on my stats I try to keep it pretty even for Super, Grenade and Melee since I will be using my Smoke Bomb to weaken and Grenade to suppress and weaken. Then finish them with Lemon Arc and get those Elemental Wells. Okay, so moving on to the weapons, for my kinetic slot, I recommend either a nice shotgun for tankier enemies or a grenade launcher if you have a favorite. I'm using the new Vanguard Fortissimo 11 with Fit and Frenzy and Adrenaline Junkie, but also Vanguard's Vindication, the origin trade that grants you a small amount of health with each kill. Kinda like how Lemon Arc Catalyst gives you health. Now let's go over Lemon Arc for those of you newer to the game. Lemon Arc is a Void Exotic Bow you can acquire from the Monument to Lost Lights kiosk at the tower. Arrows fire quickly after a full draw become Poison Arrows. Precision hits with Poison Arrows spread the poison to nearby enemies. Its Catalyst, which just got added to the game, and its dropping from playlist activities adds healing to this bow by rapidly defeating targets. This is a primary weapon so you will never run out of ammo. And even without its Catalyst, this weapon is still a great option for PvE and PvP activities. Now for our heavy weapon, I recommend something to help you melt bosses or at least some optimal DPS. Like I said, rockets for me are the best option since you can shoot a rocket at all your tether enemies and kill all of them with one rocket. But a grenade launcher will do great too. A sword is good too but requires you to be up close with the enemy which we will not be since we'll be using our bow most of the time. Okay, so with this build, we're going to be taking full advantage of Void Elemental Wells. Lemon Arc will constantly spawn Elemental Wells for us, which will track to our location with the Seeking Wells mod. Picking up Void Elemental Wells will charge our super with Font of Wisdom. Will also give us volatile rounds to Lemon Arc with the Volatile Flow mod. And the Font of Might mod will give us a 10 second bonus weapon damage to Lemon Arc and any Void Heavy weapon you might have equipped. Grenade kills also grant us volatile rounds with the Echo of Instability. Picking up Orbs of Power grants us Devour with Echo of Starvation. We also have Anti-Barrier and Overload for those champions. And our Exotic Boots will get us our Super back in no time while going invisible a lot. And there it is my friends, one of the most fun Hunter builds I've tested with Boy 3.0 for PvE. There's so much you could do for a PvP build focused on an invisibility, but for PvE I've been really enjoying this one. If you like this type of content, please consider liking and subscribing as it helps the channel grow. Also I have a link down in the description to a new Discord community I started where you can contact me and we can talk builds, lore speculation and other Destiny fun stuff. Thank you all for watching, my name is Tavius Blaze and if you want to watch other informative Destiny 2 videos you can click right here. Okay.